Well, new this morning, UNLV scientists are now working to trace COVID-19 mutations and measure the coronavirus amount in different sections of the valley. And where are they going to collect these samples? Well, 13 Action News reporter Sean Delancey joins us live right now from his bathroom with more on how the program could help with vaccine development and distribution. Good morning, Sean. Yeah, good morning, Kalina. UNLV researchers know that your body processes this virus and then gets rid of it just like everything else right down the toilet. So they're going to the sewers to do the work that could save a lot of lives. UNLV researchers are doing the dirty work to help fight the coronavirus, led by Associate Professor Edwin O. Oh. We, we found that we could use wastewater to pretty much predict what was showing up in humans. Yes, wastewater, also known as sewage. Pairing up with the Water Authority, O and his team are collecting samples from different neighborhoods all over the valley to track the virus for two main reasons. What we're expecting here now is that when more of the virus is present in human beings, we're going to see more of that virus in the wastewater. So we can track not only the presence absence, but also how much of it is showing up. And by following that, O says his team can inform local health officials about certain neighborhoods experiencing heavy transmission. They can then direct resources like a new vaccine to heavily affected areas. It's a very effective and inexpensive way of monitoring what might be going on. The monitoring serves another more ominous purpose. We fully expect it to evolve and we want to be ready. O says by tracking the potential mutations or different strains, they can record the effectiveness of any vaccine against particular forms of the coronavirus, getting the right vaccines for the right virus and potentially getting a heads up if any major mutation develops that could make the vaccine useless. How bad or pathogenic might these changes be? We don't quite know yet. We just know that there are changes. Uh, o says to be truly effective, he hopes monitoring programs like this are organized at the state, federal, and even international levels. He says that they've already applied for a grant to keep this current program staffed and working. Sean Delancey, 13 Action News.